Hello guys, Robbie here, and today I'll be showcasing a new game on the Lenovo Legion Go, which is a game called Last Epoch. The game has been in early access for a while, and um, the game finally um, dropped uh, version 1 uh, a few days ago. And I'll be showcasing playing this game on a handheld device, specifically on a Windows handheld device. And this device, like I said, is the Lenovo Legion Go. So I'll go ahead and start it. It's going to go back to my home screen, which it does normally for some games and Steam. And it's going to boot up the game in a minute. There we go. It's take, it took a little bit longer than it should. There we go. And so we're playing in offline mode. No, I'm not choosing that. Let me go back a little bit. And so this are the um, classes, or well, the base classes. You have this one here, this one here, this one here, this one here, and this one here. Uh, for this video here, we are going to choose the rogue class. Okay, that's the rogue. Actually, let me showcase the other classes real quick. So for starters, we have the Sentinel class here. We have the Mage class. We have the Beastmaster, or in this case, the Primer uh, um, Primerless class. And here we have the Acolyte class. But for this video, I'll be playing as the Row class here. There we go. And so I'll go ahead and select that. I'll pick a name. That's why I have my portable keyboard for this video. So I'll just go ahead and put in a name there. Okay, we'll call her Tish, and we'll hit continue. Okay, we're playing on normal for the purposes of this video here. I'm going to click create char character. I'm going to increase the volume so you guys can hear it. Oh, I accidentally tapped um, the trackpad here. Apologize for that. And it skipped the um, the intro video there. Okay, there we go. And this is the game. And real quick, I'll show you the settings I'm running on. Uh, from Legion Go settings itself, if I tap that button, as you can see, I'm at 1200p over here. Running at 144 hertz. Um, Radiant Super Sample Resolution is on. And here I'm running on performance mode. You can see. 
CDP is performance, fine is on smart curve, OS is in a um, performance mode. And in the game, it's let's see the game on the settings in the game. I'll bring it closer to the screen under graphics. You can see I'm playing on medium settings. The display is in full screen. Screen resolution is at 1200p. Brightness a medium, vertical sync off, and that's V-Sync. I'm limiting FPS to 60, so I can have something smooth. Um, Baragon FPS is limited to 30. Shadow medium, detailed shadows is not enabled. Anti-aliasing is TAA. Grass density is low. Reflections is medium. Ambient occlusion is medium. Volumetric lighting is medium. Screen sp space reflections is medium. Terrain quality is medium. And that's it. Basically, everything's in medium except um, for grass density. And so the game supports um, controller, full controller support, which is what I'm using right now. I'm using this to move. This is just to move the cursor around if you need it. But this is to move the character around. And your right trigger is your base attack, while X is for your specials. Okay, so let's go ahead and play it. Yeah, some stutters here and there. Oh, I can't seem to kill this thing. There we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at our inventory. And switch to bow. Gonna equip our bow instead. There we go, much better. I'm looking forward to an evasive ability. So we get out of combat. Health potion. And the graphics are pretty nice. It's a pretty vib uh, vibrant game compared to games like Diablo 4, which has a more darker color palette. And this reminds me a little bit more of um, like Diablo 3 in terms of the colors used, how vibrant everything is. Well, I'll say a mix between D3 and um, Path of Exile. And so as you can see, the game is very playable. Puddle. On the go, uh, since there's an offline mode um, to this game. Um, playing online right now is a hit or miss with the state of the servers, um, similar to how Helldivers had a pretty um, shitty launch when it comes to server st stability, but that has mostly been resolved now. 
since they increased the uh, capacity. I'm hoping the same will happen with this game also, where um, the servers get a lot better so people can play online and have access to the online characters. But even if that even if that isn't the case, at least this game has an offline mode, so you can always play this on the go without having to be connected to an online server. You can see the game has is, doesn't have any starters anymore. I'll assume that the initial stutter we had in the beginning was due to the game um, processing or loading the um, shader cache, but that isn't. But you can see the stutters isn't happening anymore. And there's a lot more stuff happening on screen than in the first minute of the game. So. Oh. Yeah, okay, stars. I hope we use that. There we go. It is a pretty, really pretty game. But the um, the backgrounds compared to the foreground is actually really good. That's a level there. I just got something. We'll take a look at it in a minute. Let's pick that up. Access inventory. Okay, we'll go ahead and equip this. Much better again. Let's talk to this old dude here. Like I said, we have a lot more stuff going on screen now, and look at how smooth it is. Like I told the user in a, pre in a previous video, if you haven't started, you'll want to take a look at the settings you have for both the Legion Go itself and also for the game itself. Uh, you can always tweak your settings to get the visuals that you're comfortable with. And this is one of the reasons why I hardly play on my Steam Deck anymore. I'm literally playing at 1200p and, and I can even go higher if I wanted to. Um, the Steam Deck doesn't support that. The max are at 800p. And the higher resolution of the crisper images are is what people tend to overlook or forget. And as you can see, I'm not even playing plugged into power at all. This is all 20 watt TDP in performance on the Legion Go. And sure, the, um, the Legion has a little bit higher fan noise than the um, ROG Ally. But as you can see, my volume settings is only on 30 and I cannot hear the fan noise at all. And so the fan noise is a non-issue. There we go. And this is it. I'll go ahead and stop here so I don't make the video any longer than it should. But this is essentially last epoch um, on the Lenovo Legion Girl. And like I said, as you can see, it plays really well. Um, the gameplay is pretty smooth and I'm playing medium settings at 1200p on the Lenovo Legion Girl. There we go. And with that, Ruby out. Take care guys. Happy gaming.